guys welcome to another wig wednesday so today pretty much i am going to review uh hair that i'm using for a wig that i'm going to be making today that's why it's hair for wig wednesdays so the hair that i'm reviewing for you guys is sensational and it's from their uh their canubia easy seven line okay so pretty much it's the fun me collection and the lengths that i got here are 18 20 and 22 so you have it between these inches and then you have the 14 16 and 18 but i love me some long wigs so i got the longest which is 22 uh so in this one i know there is an easy five and easy 27 so this one right here is the easy seven now this is a synthetic weave so it's not human hair this is synthetic weave now this has seven pieces really it's six pieces with a free closure which you can have an invisible part a lace part or you can just make it into a half wig i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do quite yet if i want to have the lace or not i actually just want um this is the braid out that i did uh, maybe I'll just do a half wig. I'll see how it is. So I'll show you both ways how they look with the lace and without the lace. Okay. So this is what she looks like. And she is the Tahitian style that I have. And I have it in a number two. So this is what the waves all look like on her. Okay. This is what she looks like. So in the package itself, I'll show you. Now, don't forget, this is synthetic. This is not real hair, so let's be, be real. Uh, I think the only reason why I'm scared to use it as a U-part wig because, uh, you know, just the, the consistency of my hair and my roots, may I add, uh, may not be the same. It's the same color, but it's just not the same consistency of texture-wise. So I think I may just make it into a half wig. So this is what the lace part looks like this is the underneath part of the lace so as you can see it has so much room if you want to pluck it okay and this is what it looks like on the other side where the part is so like I said I'm gonna pluck it and right here as you can see I have a lot of breathing room to pluck a better part so this is what the waves look like in person and I love waves. I'm, I'm, I think I love waves more than I like curls. As you can see, this is the braid out that I did. I like waves better because it, it really complements my face shape. It's certain curls and waves and straight hair can complement the shape of your head. And I think uh, having my look, my style, wavy and certain curls is perfect for me. So they all come in these little nets here. Oh, well, around the corner. I'll just be spider woman we have that and then you have the two uh, tracks the two separate tracks of 18 two separate tracks of 20 and 22 and this is what this looks like all right oh this is gorgeous oh this wig is gonna be gorgeous oh I'm so excited do you see this curl it is gorgeous and look at the ends I am now, I am a big advocate of natural looking ends. So I love the way that these ends look. They look so natural and they're not bluntly cut across, you know? So that's what they look like. And it's nice and bouncy and new. And it smells like synthetic hair. Is I'm not quite sure how many bundles, well, how many tracks and how many packs I actually, I don't know how many packs I'm gonna need, but I have two here. So, uh, I'm going to figure out, I'm going to make the wig and everything. We'll show you all the directions. I'm going to show you all the tools that I use. Uh, I'm going to see what I'm going to do with all the inches. I probably use two seventeen, um, two eighteens, maybe one twenty, and maybe two and a half twenty twos. We'll see, but we'll see at the end how all this comes together. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Okay, guys. So this is her. I finally made, I actually made two wigs because I wanted to see how it would look uh, as with the lace part. Ooh, there we go. This is the lace parting right here. I put some concealer on it. Now it blends really, really 
easily and nicely with your own hair. So let's just say if you want to pull out a little bit of your hair, it looks exactly as if it can be blended quite well. Now, when you use it without pulling a little bit of your hair out, it looks like a regular sensational lace front wig, but you have to make it in a certain way. Now, the way that I did it, I just pretty much glued it down because it is synthetic hair. And, uh, and as you can see, the tracks are very extremely, extremely uh, thin. So it's much easier just to use the glue. I used the last bit of my, you know, strip club smelling glue. This is the 32nd Salon Pro. It just smells like a strip club, just all ass. I used the glue on this one and I used this dome cap right here. Now this dome cap, I haven't used this brand. I used another brand and it, and it was a little bit more looser, but this one right here, this is a brand that I will recommend forever because there's a lot of different brands out there with these um dome caps but this one right here actually I have no combs in and I think this is the best brand to use if you want to make a half wig or just a simple lace front because it oh, it's a really good snug type I used let's see I told you there's two 18s two 20s and two 22s if you guys didn't see the beginning okay so that's her I use all of 22s I used one pack of 20 and one pack of 18 and that and I used the closer so that's all that I used for this wig so that's why it doesn't look as huge as possible but I really like it I really like that it's not some big huge hair but it's something that I can still go out grocery shopping for and I don't look like I'm trying too hard Okay, so this is what it looks like with the closure. I glue down the closure. It's very strong. I've used this glue before, and it's actually really good because my kids tug on my hair all the time, and none of my tracks has ever fallen out, so that's really good. She looks like from the front, and I'll show you what she looks like from the back. ladies I truly truly I love doing wigs now you know sometimes you don't really want to spend all that money and you just want to find something that looks extremely good and for half the price for maybe a minute because I have ADD when it comes to hair I like a curly straight short long medium big small flat blonde red black brown i like it all and i don't want to just stick to just sewing so making wigs are so much easier especially if you see that one wig that you wish they did something different that you would want to do so definitely using synthetic hair is the number one thing but yes but i love the hair pattern to this one so the half wig that i'm going to show you guys uh i use pretty much all even the extra hair that was in this pack and I use most of the hair in the next pack I think I just didn't I didn't use one pack well one half of a pack of 18s so I'm gonna show you what the half wig looks like okay All right so this is how the half wig would look now as you can tell it's a lot more fuller because I put a lot more hair to it and this is what I have left so this is the 18 that's left from this pack of hair from the half wig so this is the 18 now I didn't use so much of the 18 on top and I know a lot of people would think that you want to put 18 on top but I did a blend of 18 and 20 because I wanted to give it the natural layers without cutting so much of it uh, the only part that I cut was right in this area because it was too long from the track of the 22 because the 22 lasted a long time with this half wig so the 22 came all the way up to here and then the 20 so I didn't want such long pieces and like I said I didn't want to cut so much of it so yes yeah, so I have this much of 18 and this much of eight, uh, 18 as well and let me just remind you of what the tracks look like okay so this is the track and when I saw the first part the first time I started using this hair trying to make 
a wig. I said, I think I'm going to need a lot more hair because, I mean, this looked like a struggle, like a real struggle of a trek. But a pack is very much enough if you're going to use it as the lace. Now, if you're going to use the lace, I unfortunately, I would say get two packs. Uh, even if you want it bigger than this. So this is what it looks like half wig using pretty much almost all of your, your bundles. I don't even know if they will call it all your tracks. Being that it's not, you know, Malaysian hair and whatnot. But anywho, uh, so yes. So even if you want to use all of them, it'll be a little bit bigger than this. But it still will be gorgeously thick and full. And it's not heavy. This is very light weight hair. And as you can see, I have no gaps. Because I put the tracks at the very bottom of the cap. And I've told this to you a couple of times uh, sensational and I know probably uh, another brand what they started to do was put in the track at the very bottom of the wig so it can have a more fuller effect because a lot of times we get a problem with the whole gap in sensation nope no gap different from the lace wig I actually did it traditionally put it all the way up glued it on my head with you know stocking cap and all that stuff and I came up to this point and I just started cutting and um, put in the tracks, laying the tracks going backwards. And like I said, I've been using this glue hair. That smells like a strip club. Now, when you first wear this hair, definitely pull comb it. I call it pull comb because you're not putting your fingers through it, but you're pulling at it slightly um, because it does shed. One, because I've cut the wefts obviously but also because these are thin tracks so it can lead to shredding now oh my gosh I didn't it's not tangle free so just be careful and aware of that and this is the most that I've gotten out of if you can see that out of all the pull combing that I've done the front of it looks like like I said I pulled my hair out so it can blend really really nicely and I've always liked the MTV VJ Ananda look. Like, that's always... It's between her and Carrie from Sex in the City. So I've always had... Those were my two inspired hair crushes ever. So differently with this half wig from the other half wigs that I've ever done. Uh, I actually put one track going downwards. Let me move it. I put one track going downwards because I like... When I flip over my hair, sometimes there's hair that just has no purpose so it, i kind of gave it like a a way of having a part on the side so it lays down nicely it can just lay down and i can put it behind my ear as you can see i am loving this hair i've been doing flip overs with a lot of my wigs since day one and i just love the way how natural it can go back and forth I can show you and it really has no tracks shown. I have a little bit of hair. You can put it in a ponytail. That's how light this hair is. You can just put it in a simple ponytail. Have some hair hanging down, little cute little accent. And just put it in a high ponytail. Working out. Put a little headband and your day is to go. So it's very simple to put in a ponytail and take it out. I would actually recommend doing that probably at least the first couple of days. But as you can see, I am truly loving this hair. It's thick, but it's not too heavy. You can flip it over however you want. Like I said, the way that I placed my tracks, it's very easy to flip over with just a little bit minimum hair out without it looking as if it's a wig. Okay, since I'm pretty much feeling myself, let me just get myself out of here. And thank you guys once again for watching another Wig Wednesday with me. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.